Hi guys, welcome back to Classic Dead Man. Uh, we are in the... Oh gosh, guys, where are we? We're in the cave uh, that connects Desolation Point to, um, coast, uh, to Coastal Highway. And it's super dark, guys. And it is day 51. So we just left Desolation Point long at last. 87% condition as before. Um, gee, what's going on? It's almost morning. And... I picked up my bedroll, so that's good news. Um, so what do we have to do? We gotta eat, and I've got a bunch, if I remember right, I've got a bunch of meat outside. We're pretty heavy, but not that heavy. So we should eat all that meat. Um, but first we should do some repairs, I guess. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything I can do. So today we have a nasty job ahead of us, guys. We're doing the uh, crumbling highway crossing. And I've been dreading it, guys. I gotta say, I've just been dreading it. I've been, you know, I started playing Alien Isolation, and that's a horrible game. And I was tempted to play it tonight. And this one out just because I want to keep the series going. And I'm, you know, this is my primary. But this is almost as scary as an alien isolation for me going through Crumbling Highway. I just hate it. So we'll get through it, though, guys. Let's let's get to it. Um, what do we got here? So, yeah, there's not much I can do to pass time. We're full energy. Um, I could just start cooking. Now, it's going to be right dark in here, right? I, I had planned on doing a little bit of repair, didn't I? Um, okay, all the clothing is really really nice shape I think I was gonna try to repair the old sleeping bag too dark um, okay the sun's almost up let's just wait a second guys and it'll be up a little bit of water okay um, any minute now now we're gonna have to light a torch anyway to get through this thing it's an hour repair let's do it anyway just to get rid of some of that cloth because we're carrying it and we do want to wait out the early part of the day. Come on, you know it's close, guys. That looks up. I'm just going to peek over the horizon here. There we go. Uh, blizzard or something outside. 75, let's do one more. Wait, how much, how much cloth do I have? 11. Um, there's going to be a fair bit in Coastal Highway. Um, so yeah, let's just do it. Let's put one more into this just to pass some more time. Another hour. And, uh, I think what I'll do actually is, um, oh, cool. Some ambient light. That's nice. Um, I should pop out actually and see if we happen to get a mag lens fire because that would be really useful. No. Kind of the opposite of a Maglin's fire. Blowing haze. Um, what's it like in the uh, windshade? Why is there no windshade? There's the windshade. It's still insanely cold in the windshade, guys. Negative 19. Uh, there's all my meat, which is great. Um, well, I suppose, you know, yeah, there's a good bit of day left. Let's just rest a little bit more. We'll do uh, like an hour of sleep. Just to like, in case, you know. We do have a lot of food, and I want to I want to eat it all. So we do kind of have to burn all these calories that we have on us. I don't want to go into obviously into crumbling highway with any stink. It's a zero stink area. Okay. Okay. Long save. Um, do I need reclaimed? What do I have? Three reclaimed and twelve coal is good. And we're gonna pick more coal up, but not much actually because of the the weight problem. But oh, there we go, guys. Ask and ye shall receive. Go. Maglens fire. Sweet. Now, I, I should have checked. I don't actually know if you can light a fire in the cave. Um, I think you can, though. Because if I use it out here, I'm going to have to do coal. But there will be coal in the cave, so maybe I should... Oh, really? Come on. You know we don't have a lot of chances at this. Yeah, I think I will move Come it inside. On, Come on. Although, if I do it out here, we've got the cabin fever defeat, potentially. But I do want to protect this fire. We need this fire. So what I'm going to say is... Um, okay, let's drop, a drop a couple sticks on it. T try to take it inside and just see what happens. Beautiful to get a maglens fire, guys. That worked out nicely. 
go inside. Um, let's let's hope that this works. It's a good bit of meat there, guys. Like over two thousand calories, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it lets me do it. Whoa, but it, it it does, but it doesn't, guys. It doesn't. Oh, can it start a campfire indoors? So why why could I do it out here? It, it, it likes this, but it doesn't like it. Something's changed, guys, about all this. Anyway, all right, so it's going to be a, a coal fire. That's a bummer, though. Um, let's just get on it. Coal. It's going to be plenty of coal in that cave. Let's do the big pieces of venison. The wind picks up, of course. 45 minutes. Get the venison going. Okay, that's a big one, guys. But on the bright side, we will be doing cabin fever defeat here. We got to make water too. So what am I going to do in the meantime? Is there anything I can do? Knife's full up. I looked at this already. Hand wraps, no. Yeah, we're nicely sheltered here, guys, it would seem. Two rocks. Um... No reading to do, right? We're clean out of reading at this point in the game. Uh, okay, let's get rid of some of these torches. I'm going to want some of them for the crossing, but... And we'll need some for the cave. It would really be a bummer if it blew our fire here. Oh, you know what I should do, guys? Just because... Um, good form, right? Generally good form. Oh, we're going to need all those ratios to do the crumbling highway crossing and beyond, I think. You know, crumbling highways only have the problem. Once you get to um, coastal, it's it's nasty, right? So, okay, 30 minutes. Torch-wise, I don't know. Let's aim for good torches. Yeah, so we're trying to kill some time here. This is the cold part of the day, so. I could even do a second fire, I suppose. Anyway, let's just... um do this. Okay, wind changed a little bit on us there. 30 and 8. So let's get rid of this. There's a lot of venison, guys. I may even be leaving a piece behind. Get rid of the little piece. Now, bait would be another way to go through Crumbling Highway. Um, let's get rid of this thing. And I do actually need to do a little bit of water, guys. We're, we're in that situation, so. Let's do it. Um, stuff's all cold, but not cold. Yeah. I think I'm actually going to do... Uh, yeah, two liters is going to have to get us there. Yeah, so I think we can pull a torch up this and be okay. I should probably pull a couple torches. Okay, actually, let's see. After that leader... Oh, we're, we're going to be drinking buffs. So, yeah, let's leave it at that. Let's pull a couple of these off and hope for the best. Those are pretty bad, actually. Those are all terrible, but... Get a couple more. Let's max this out. And we're past the, uh, we're getting through the day. We gotta move though, because it does, it will take a while to get through crumbling, and I do not want to get stuck in that basement if I can at all help it, but. Oh, that was even worse, guys. Look at that. Uh oh, the wind changed on me. I blew that out. Yikes, guys. Okay, tell you what, since that happened, let's put another leader on. Oh no, is this going to blow the fire? Yes, it is. That's really a bummer, guys. Look at that, eh? Got me. Got me big time. Classic. Absolutely classic. Um, yeah, just classic, guys. What can I say? They got me. Please change even further.
Yeah, there's no way. There's just no way we get out of here with a fire. Uh, so that's match. Let's just do a match check anyway. We're at not that many guys, you know? Wow, it's actually coming down to it in 35% strikers. So we're definitely feeling the match effect. But now that we're leaving Desolation Point, I believe we're going to start collecting matches again. We'll probably find some of the Quonset. And... Okay, anyway, I just have to accept this. That's a loss. It just is. Oh, it's brutal. And I don't want to use a flare because we, um, you know, well, we, okay, because we don't have any. That's the other thing. Do I? Oh, I've got two. Never mind. But I'm still not going to use one right here. Let's um, tell you what. Since we lost our our thing, let's let's sleep. And I know we're going to lose our buffs, but I mean, I guess if it's a full blizzard, I could try to make the crossing. Not a full blizzard though. The wolves would still be out. And I, I still don't know 100% if you can... Oh, there, of course, it clears. Let's just take a peek. Yeah, they're messing with me here, guys. Oh, look at that. Oh, it just, of course, just canceled it on the way out. This is one of those things where you come out, it's a certain way, and then the game thinks better of it. It's like, no, I'm not going to give it to you. Okay. okay. It is getting nicer out, though. Well, we're going to just have to bite the bullet, guys. I can't wait here forever, so let's go. What matches go? Yeah, it's painful, but it is. It's We did it. Um, okay, let's go. So there's going to be a... Whoa. There's going to be a coal respawn here. Um... And I don't know how many I'm going to take. I, I do want to carry a lot of them, but we obviously can't go overweight. Too overweight. Um, you know, we'll take a few. And maybe we'll bring them to the other side for good measure. And then we'll have to figure it out. But yeah, I, I, for the longest time I thought you could start a fire in here. I think they might have changed that. And it, it really makes things worse. I could have sworn I had fires going in here. But anyway, I mean, I'm, I'm all down for like more restrictions, but there is a mod for that where you can make fires indoors, but um, I don't know. Again, I like I like the restrictions. They make it harder and they make it more, more nasty. On Relentless Night, you know, with the indoor fire requirement, you, uh, 43, yeah, I already burned through that one pretty good. Although I should check what mine is. 96, okay. Yeah, I get through some of these really bad torches. I'm going to want to travel through the um, crumbling highway with a prime torch because ideally I won't relight it. I'll just... So let's see, does this work? No, can't do it indoors, guys. Uh, I guess. I don't know, are we going to break that down? I'll just see. Yeah, we checked all this. Yeah, but there's been a coal respawn. So I'm basically just dragging all the coal that I can here, and we'll drop off pretty much all of it at the other side. But coal is great. I mean, coal's it's better than sticks, for sure. You do want to have a few sticks to light some fires and to mess around with fires, you know, to tweak them. But, like, five sticks and a bunch of coal is a pretty good uh, lineup. That's, no, that's the way out. There's a cave-in down here, which we've already been to, but more coal. So we're just literally dragging it out. And it's a good time in the day, but... Yeah. We did start early today, so that's a little unfortunate in terms of timing. It's slow going under here. Yeah, it is nice to move the coal to the other side in case for some bizarre reason I go through crumbling again trying to get coal. Which I'm not sure I can imagine doing that, but... Yeah, it'd be great to drag it all out, but... Okay, so let's do this just so I can think for a sec. And yeah, it's probably not going to let us do a fire here. 
It says, see, this is the confusing thing, guys. There used to be, you used to be able to do a fire here. I, I swear. It's like it wants to give it to us, but just not quite. It's to do with the floor or something? Ah, oh, that's terrible, guys. Okay, so. Alright, we gotta figure this out then. Um, 45 kilos, that's too much, guys. Too much, too much. Let's drop some of this. Let's drop 20. 15 coal, that's a pretty good deal. And then torch-wise, let's drop some of the, let's drop the bad torch and the burning ones at 20. That's pretty good, 38 kilos. And then those are all cold, of course. Okay, let's try to take five more. There, 40 kilos, you can still run. Okay, please don't blow my torch out. About to. I'm gonna try to. I'm, I'm allowing myself to move this fire, guys, just because it sort of chints me on. You should be able to make a fire in the doorway of the of the mine. Like, let's be honest. Um, Perfect. Uh, we're we're like warm here, guys. Let's drop these. Oh my god, some predation happening out there. I forgot that I was carrying the venison. I like drew him in with my uh, my stink. What? How cold are we? That would actually be a good time to go, um, but we got what are we? 15 minutes. Okay, well let's drop a coal on it. Let's let's eat this whole thing. He's close, isn't he? We're looking at pre-blizzard pre here, guys. Wish I could see that guy. If I go down there, I lose all my stuff. How long is he going to eat that? Okay, I got to watch that. I don't want to step in that. I can't see where that was. That. Uh... Okay, I think we're just going to go. Um, for some reason, that time it put them as hot. Come on, guys. There we go. Okay, let's do the 70. Go, guys. He's probably finished his um, snack by now. On the bright side, it's warm. Very, very warm. I wonder why I don't see that guy. Get my coal back here. It's right around there somewhere. Okay, that guy's. It's gonna be in sight range. Good thing it's so warm, eh? Okay, a rabbit here, that's a good sign.
So they're behind me. Take that. Fishing book, that's kind of interesting. Gaining in the car. Thought maybe I'd find a piece of meat there. Okay, here it comes, guys. So the smart guy would pull back and go to the uh, the car or to the basement, but I'm not like that. I knew this was gonna happen. Like it always loves to blizzard you on your way out of crumbling. That's a standard thing. So that you're approaching the, uh, you know, jackrabbit, or not jackrabbit, misanthrope island, like on a stem. That's just sort of standard, standard procedure. I'm just hoping that I can bluff call it. It's just my only hope is to cross enough terrain here to bring it past the point of um, a blizzard and into the, the happy zone. But it looks like it might not be work out that way for me. crumbling you are a long passage here wow so yeah guys it's like this is kind of bad yeah. don't do that because if i sleep in that car i will get caught we just have to kind of push Those are cold. Look at this, guys. Yeah, so sorry the no talk, but this is like, you know, this is the Grand Crossing. Coastal Highway, or um, crumbling to, uh, to Quonset. I know there's loot down there, but there's also possibly a wolf. And uh, Mom Bluff call, I'm counting on you. So yeah, here we go. Um, definitely pre-blizzard. And we're just going to try to walk our way over to... The only good thing is it's quite a warm pre-blizzard. Rabbit there, that's a good sign. So, And none of those houses are intact, I'm 90% sure. So guys, what you might be seeing is a bluff call. Uh, we'll just see how this turns out, but... You see how it's holding? You see it was building there? It was building towards a blizzard. And then it, it pulled back a little bit. That pullback process is what I call the bluff call. And I wouldn't say it's 100% valid, but I've just come to sort of slightly trust it. If you dawdle, 
Like, if you don't cross enough ground fast enough, it will blizzard you. Like, you will get your blizzard. But if you, if you push, I find sometimes... Look at this. Is it dying off? Look at that guy. So there, I think that, you know... Uh-oh, look at this wolf. He's going to be tricky to get by. I'm going to have to shoot him. Two of them, guys. And there was a bear out at uh, Misanthrope. There's no way I go through there without getting detected. They are blocking the way. That's a, what's what you call a, a passage blocked. Okay. So we're walking the ice. But look at this, guys. Look at Because it was a bluff call, um, I'm not seeing any issues with this right now. We've got the bear out there, but he's well, you know. In fact, I don't even know if I've checked that lower fishing hut there. In fact, guys, we have a bear. In fact, we have a bear. What am I saying here, guys? I'm saying that this is our opportunity right now. This is perfect. I love how I like, I'm passing this going like, oh, it's a bear. No, you want a bear. You need a bear. Double up your hides. Look at those wolves, guys. Yeah, so I think what we're going to do is, um, I have enough coal to even sleep in that fishing hut if I needed. But, I think what we're going to do is just bring in the bear. Put an arrow into him so he starts to run in. And that will be our... You know, come on, detection range. Yeah, there we go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's what it, that's what it's all about. Bring it in, big guy. Now I'm hoping he doesn't like lose the scent here. It's so warm out, guys. Look at this, and it looks like it's gonna break. Oh, did you lose the scent? Oh, come on. Don't lose the scent. You lost the scent. It's my last rock, guys. Oh, come on. Okay, and it got real cold. Oh, man. That's not fair. Gotta just slowly bring him back. It's kind of awful. Yeah, you need this is where you need stink. Come on, man. Show some predatory instincts here. Like your prey just walking away from you. Like, I can't afford to go now, because it's just, I'm almost on the edge of his radius. He's so slow. Wolves at least kind of, oh, here we go. Look at it clearing up, guys. Oh my gosh. Is it clearing up to a maglens fire? It is, guys. Come on. Come on, bear. Don't lose it. Don't lose the scent here. Such a long way. I'm gonna freeze before he gets here. Got wolves on that island. It's on that on the misanthrope. It sounds like. Starting to feel numb. Yeah, I am feeling numb. I know what you mean. He's gonna turn around. Come on. How warm is it with the torch? Negative six. That's a really really nice nice day. Come on, big guy. Yeah, so there is that wolf that I uh, put the flare gun around at. He's over on Misanthrope still. 
so they've, they've tooled up Misanthrope a bit. Like, I know that guy's sometimes up there, but it's just for him to be so regularly up there, I think they've updated the paths since one of these updates. Okay, is he going to lose me when I go in? That's the question. Oh, I, ha I have to. I have to go. I have to go. Jeez, we're going to lose it, guys. Come on. How to let that happen? Come on. Come on, little fire. Come on. No. Oh, guys, I blew that. But it was bear or. It's so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. Yeah, I know it. I know it. But this is just what happens sometimes. Okay, go, go. Oh, yeah. Here's where the crazy comes in. Come on, really? How cold is it in here? Okay, there. Gosh, that was brutal. Oh no. Dear Lord. Please don't attack me through the building. I got him with that shot, but um, wasn't good enough, guys. Well, I just put like all my arrows into that guy. Oh, it's awful. Okay, well, you win some, you lose some, eh? But got to get my bow scale up, I guess. But I mean, a good thing I've got all those arrowheads. That's all I can say because I just threw away a bunch of them. So let's toss in. I guess uh, you know what? Now what to do? Like, do I? I search the place, but do I? You know, I don't want that guy to despawn, that's for sure. He's gonna run way out though. I guess the right thing to do would be to let him bleed, to go to Quonset. Um, you know, to go to Quonset and get the uh, stuff deployed. Yeah, nothing I can do about those guys. So down to three arrows guys going to Quonset. That's all oh, four arrows, okay. But still, it's crazy. And he probably ran out onto the ice, for all I know. The thin ice. Um, what can I cook? Like, tell you what, let's, um, let's drink a little water, because we're going to go thirsty. And let's do, let's do a little bit of water, we might as well. What's it going to be, an hour? That's good. Oh, look how tired we are, guys. Oh, he's way out there. Too tired to go deal with him, though. Wolves are still out. They might see me coming in. But the good thing about them being there is... Um, GA, with it being this tired here. And not... We gotta warm up still. Okay, tell you what. Let's do this. Um, come on. Weird to see a climbing rope there. Okay, you know it's gonna roar on us, guys, right? It has to. That's just the only thing it knows how to do at this point. Okay. Okay, so let's get to it. I could have just fished and stuff, but still have to get dinner. I think the bear's dead out there. These wolves are kind of out of the scene now. Yeah, I think the bear is dead over there. I thought I saw his corpse way over there, unfortunately. If that's the case, I should probably do misanthrope. I mean, I could have spent the night on in the fishing hut fishing, but... Oh, there's a wolf right there. Arg. Really get this place covered. What are those guys? Okay, so-called weather birds. So I gotta kind of go around this guy. We're super heavy. 
Gotta take the long way, guys. And that was kind of my meal there. It probably would have been smart just to stay at the sh at the uh, the shed. Cause yeah, that wolf. I guess I can just get a wolf here, or who knows? I mean, maybe I can get a bear even. Let's drink one of these just to take the weight off and give us a little more time. Gosh, I'm carrying those crappy torches. Forgot to break those down. Let's go. But yeah, it will be great to unload all this stuff at the Quonset. That's a primary goal because we're so heavy. Just gonna carry our load to the Quonset, and then it's for another day to do the mission out to find um, that bear. I think loons migrate. Like, I don't think they hang around for this type of weather. So... Oh god, guys. Of course, right? There's, like, wolves all over the place up here. Here's where we're gonna get into trouble. Oh, wolves out there in the lake. Wolves on all sides, guys. Yeah, it's Quonset, you know? <sighs> but the thing about Quonset is, um, yeah, once you get Cooking 5, it's just an infinite food source. So it is a great long-term base. You just need Cooking 5. Um, but they keep throwing the food at you. Okay, the wind's going to pick up a little bit here. Blow our torch out. We're getting very, very tired. I don't think I have the ability to really sprint. I could cash in on one of the, the stems. Is that it? I think I see a deer over on the on the uh, shoreline over there. I don't think I've, I don't really remember ever seeing a deer there, but. Should drop a little weight there. Cause yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna have to make a deer kill like ASAP. We have a tiny bit of food on us, but. So yeah, I'm, I'm taking this one wide because my favorite approach to Quonset when I'm vulnerable is to come up the, the back, you know, kind of come in diagonally on the back here. So you can kind of get up quick onto the high ground and sort of see everything. Get a lay of the land and maybe see if there's a, a bear, maybe a moose, all kinds of nasty stuff hangs around here. And you know what? Because we're going to be calorie shot tonight, I'm just going to take this for the temperature, for the calories, so I can properly do this. Did I hear something? I think that was just my footsteps. Oh god, not really. Of course. Where is he? There he is. All the way up there.
He's stuck, guys. Okay, well. Let's just let him bleed. Let's just sit for a sec. He's stuck. AI bug. Um, he's trapped in the terrain. So wait, if I go inside and I don't accelerate time, I think he stays there. Anyway, at the very least, I didn't want to shoot all my arrows. That's two arrows in that guy. So we're, we're really short arrows. Two arrows left. Let's um, let's get in here and rest a little bit. Um, let's see what's what. There we go. That's good. Catch up chips. Excellent. Yeah, we do want to rest. I'm not going to try to bash my way across to the uh, Quonset just now. I'm going to wait for Dawn on that. We're about to go tired, so I, I don't even know if I can do the full search. I think it's just going to be catch up chips and sleep. But, um, in fact, I think I should probably... Wow, well, we're almost done. Oh, a pot. That's excellent. So I may have to do this in two runs. I don't think I can really bring that over to Quonset just yet. Oh, more ketchup chips. Excellent. Okay, well, we'll, we'll go. We'll go with it. Hopefully we're short a little water after this, so... Epic. Um, epic. Two bears on the way in, you know? Like crazy. And put arrows into all of them, so... That's good news. Um, and, you know, presumably they're going to die of those injuries, so... There should be bears all over the place by tomorrow. And then our arrows are all over the place, which we may lose, but... Okay, we're just about tapped on energy here. I'm just going to do a quick once-over with the torch. Um... I do want to hit the sack. I do want to eat. Oh, I always like that. Oh, look at this place. So this place has been amazing. And we're going to go tired here. Come on. We're carrying such a load. No clothing on the bed, unfortunately. I think I'm even just going to sleep an hour. And then we'll do the all the catch-up and stuff after. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not even going to... Two liters of water. This place is awesome, guys. Feels good to get here. Okay, so let's put this thing out. We're here for the night. And okay, let's let's eat some chips. Those are in good shape. Let's just hold tight on that. And we'll do seven. Seven. Okay, waking up in the middle of the night, that's good. Um, drink a little water, just so that we don't make mistakes here. And let's take a look at it. Um, yeah, you know what? The only thing that I like about these is that they are, um, they don't stink, so we can travel with them. So I suppose let's just hold on to them for now. We don't need to eat them this moment, so. I'll tell you what, let's get rid of the, um, what are they, 600. For point one. So let's get rid of these because they're kind of heavy considering their calories. And we'll um, drink another of this and do another five so we're topped up. We don't want to be out in the morning anyway. It's nasty. And yeah, let's do another five. So the ketchup chips almost covered that five. That was great though, those finds here in this, this little house. Um, all right, guys. So there we go. We're waking up on day. I lost a bit back there. We're waking up, wake up on day 52. Yep, down to sweet, solid 85% condition. So I'm one stim away from being uh, topped up, which I have. So we'll hold on to that. Wait, do I? Yes, I've got at least one stim. So there we go. And uh, we're almost gonna we're gonna be topped up if I use that. So so anyway, I think I'm gonna cut there a good solid 45 minutes or so, and uh, we'll catch up with you guys next episode. Thanks so much for watching. It's been a big pleasure, and I'll catch you next time.